Hey, how's it going? Just coming back from a nice scouting run out in the sand dunes. I like going out there whenever it's either nighttime or very early in the morning. Temperatures are so nice and cool. But for today, I think what I want to do is try to tame a mantis. So in ASC, there was a bug with them. A bug with the bugs. <laughs> but it would have the whooshing sound kind of go on all the time. And it was kind of annoying, man. Kind of the main reason why I never used them. I'm hoping that that is fixed in ASA. Now, another thing with ASC is mantis, man, used to be all over the place out there. I could not hardly find any. I found four total in the hole outside of the desert that I went to. Went on a pretty big scouting trip. I cut across down over here, getting some drops, and looked all around the outside of the map. And like I said, man, all I found was four in that whole area. There's two right here, and there's two just kind of to the north of it. So we'll try to get those guys tamed up. Now, for taming the mantis, there's two different kind of ways you can do it. One is with the woolly rhino horns. Takes a lot more of those. Or the sandworm, man. So we're going to have to go out. Try to kill some of the death worms, get some of their horns, and use those for taming. Shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Now, I got some good drops while I was out there as well. One is a pair of pants that we need for our desert armor. We'll change those out whenever we get back to base here. And then we got one of the saddles for the new creature. Saw a bunch of those guys out there. None that were high level. Now, I haven't looked anything up about how to tame them or any of their abilities. I'll do that at a different point in time. But there are some out there, but I think the highest level was a level 45 or so. And then a lot of level 10s. All scattered out throughout there, so not sure how we didn't see them whenever we went out to get these salts, but here's what it is, man. Are you empty? You are. I'm going to hit and put some points into stamina and carry weight because I like using him for the supply drops. I do got a note with all of our base stats on him, though, just for doing breeding. I want to try to find another one here soon to do breeding with so we can start doing our egg runs, man, down in the dragon trench. Let's go ahead and draw this off and drop that off. Let's go ahead and change out our pants real quick. It's a lot better on the armor. And then durability is 54 versus 45. Not very much on that, but we've got some more on the heat resist and cold as well. So not too bad, man. We'll put this over here. I did go ahead and get this all sorted out with our storage. Made some folders. Made everything nice and easy to see. Now, one thing we kind of need today is some gilly. All we have is a headpiece. We should have enough stuff to make a basic set. And then I looted in one of the drops some bug spray. So we definitely need that for taming. And then we also got the other soups, man. We got the ones that are for this map. I think they're in the cooker over here. We got a couple that we looted. This right here. So to make it to where the wildlife doesn't see you as far away, it kind of does the same thing almost as the bug spray. But we'll go ahead and stack this with the bug spray as well as a set of ghillie. And we should be able to go ahead and tame these off or tame this guy up pretty easy. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. Let's open this. Oh, wait, it's open. Dude, I keep forgetting to... I keep forgetting to seal this. Let's grab three of those that we have. Let's grab... This. That should be plenty for making up our ghillie. So I got all that polymer from doing the grinding, man. All the stuff I'm getting from drops. I think all we need is some fiber and some hide. Wait, you know what? I don't have the ghillie unlocked. Oh, I do. Never mind. We're good. Four parts of that. Put everything else back into the barrel. And I've already emptied out my crop plots. That's kind of why the barrel's open, because I totally forgot to reseal it when I was done. And we should be able to test out the new skins, too, for the ghillie. To make it look like the desert ghillie. Well, we'll do, we'll do this, we'll do this. Let's go ahead and seal this up first. Try to save our polymer. We got everything out that we need. We're using the sandworm horns for taming, so that should be... Should be good. Seal that up. Alright, so, we'll do a comparison between the normal ghillie and then the new sets. I forgot feet. Oh, we got feet. I was gonna say, you gotta be kidding me. So, put our hat on. That's how we look normally. And then with these skins... That's how we look. <laughs> Not quite as green. A little bit more brown. I mean, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Let's go ahead and hide our hat. It's fine, dude. We'll leave it on. It's kind of neat. And we'll leave our other armor here for right now. Just for safety. We want to lose it, man. 
some good parts in there. All right, so drop off our stuff here. We're gonna grab the cats. Did I not grab the bug spray? I didn't. Bug spray. Eat some food. We'll grab a couple of these. We'll grab a couple of these. We should be good for the day. Ah, dude, I'm super excited, man. Super excited and nervous all at the same time. Let's grab an empty cryo. Let's grab two. I like I have a two on me. And then we got kind of too many of the salt, so let's drop some off in here. That'll be good there. Let's restack all these as well. There's only one in that one. One in that one, so we're good. Alright, so, let's grab the cats, and we will head out. So, I'm not exactly sure where we can find some of the deathworms at. We'll look around base here, kind of over where the mantis are, and kind of filter out from there if we need to. Put you in there. That's good. Let's take one more cryo just in case. I'm not sure why. And we'll head out at first on the moth, actually. Well, you know what? We'll take it with us. Just in case we need to go very, very far to find the... Death worms, or maybe our mantis got killed off. I hope not, because holy crap, dude, I looked everywhere for that one. Of course, I started at the southeast side of the map, and it turns out that the <laughs> mantis was over here. That's where that it goes sometimes. Jump off of here, it'll be fine. Easy. You'll be alright if I leave you out? Yep, sure you will. Of course you will, man. Tell you what. Me and that guy, we're gonna fight one day. Just saying, just saying. So, something about this map. We could actually breed some of these guys for the boss fight. It's one of the only maps we can take a flyer in and use it on the boss. We're not gonna, though. So, you got... The Gamma, the Beta, and the Alpha. One is green, one is blue, one is red. Now, for the dragons on this map, you've got the Fire Ones, the Poison, and the Lightning. Those are also the same colors as the bosses. So, what we're gonna do is... Ah, man, never done it like this, but... We're gonna use Poison on the Gamma. We'll use the Lightning Dragons on the Beta, and then for the Alpha, we'll use the Fire Ones. Normally, I just use the Fire Ones, or the, uh, the Lightning, because they're super good, man. The Poison Ones, ah, dude, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of self-damage with those because of the Gas Balls. So we'll definitely be taking in some of the Gas Masks, but it'd be kind of interesting, man. Use those three creatures for the bosses on this map. Now, if you've never fought the Mana Core, he does very little damage to you. However, he does a ton of Torpor with his Spikes. So, we're definitely taking in some UDs for boosting, and to help with the dragons not falling asleep, because if all your dragons fall asleep, you're going to have a very, very bad time. I'm going to do a little bit of searching out here. Let me find a couple death worms. We should be okay with the cat, I think, for killing those guys off. It should be a sandworm right there. Yeah, so all that we need is two of the horns, I think, from these guys. I think they drop one each time you kill one. Now, if you kill one of the alphas, you get... I want to say five or ten. You get quite a few from the alphas. <laughs> we most definitely are not messing with an alpha today. They got a ton of hit points. They do a good bit of damage. Don't forget, we have a 160-something armor saddle, and we're still taking about 25 damage from this guy. So they're no joke, man. Holy crap, dude. Could probably use a shotgun. I'd like to save some of our ammo if we can, and just use a cat to kill him. However, I don't see any blood on this guy. The texture on this guy looks cool compared to ASC. Looks pretty nice, man. They are not tameable. It's kind of a thing. Let's try the shotgun. We'll soften them up a little bit for the cats. Yep. Yep. There we go. Each one of these pellets is almost the same as... There we go. There we go. It's one of the bites from the cat. I hate when the bag goes off to the side. So we got one. Oh, I forgot, man. You can get black pearls from these guys, too. Junior, did you not just see what I killed off right there? Never stood a chance. Totally forgot about the black pearls. Good way to farm that. And angler gel, which is always a weird thing. But, since we got the frontier pack, we probably won't have any of the torches out. If we do, we'll for sure put the angler gel in it, man. Looks super nice. So, we need to kill off one more. Now, I got some of the woolly rhino horns from some of the supply drops. But, I think for like, the one we're going for is a 140 over there. Sandworm right in front of us. It would take about seven or eight of the... Woolly Rhino Horns, or just two of the Death Worm Horns. So it's definitely worth it to get these instead, if you can. Just takes quite a bit of killing these guys off. And then, I can't remember what else we need the Death Worm Horns, horns for. There's a reason to fight the Alphas. I mean, you get, like, a cool trophy. But you get a ton of those, and then I can't remember how many Black Pearls. And you get a skin, too. So there's a very nice Manticore skin set you get. I think you get some of the drops from the bosses, and then 
throughout some of the caves, right? The artifact caves, there's different skins to get. So it's kind of cool, man. Kind of curious how that looks. Used to be a fantastic set of skins for your armor. For the last piece, you got to kill off the Alpha Death Worm to get the... I think it's a helmet skin. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ammo is somewhat cheap. I was wanting to not have to make a bunch. I don't want to be here out here all day either because we still got to kill off... Or not kill off, but uh... Team with the Mantis. As long as I don't mess it up, we'll be okay. It's, <laughs> it's a very high probability, man. There we go. Oh, we got some of that. Okay, I know you got that from it. And Polymer. So the Black Pearls are not always a guaranteed drop, huh? Interesting. So we are way far away. Let me get over here. I do want to stop by today, too, if we can. And come out here, maybe with the Argentavis. Not much has respawned as far as the Sulfur goes. We'll come out here, grab the rest of the Sulfur, and then grab some more of the Salts. Definitely want to get all that stocked up. That way we can make sure to keep all of our stuff in the Preserving Bin. Nice and safe. And then in our inventory as well. Like I said, I'm trying to start carrying that with us to preserve our foods. And definitely helps out with life a lot, man. Are we going the right way? We are. Why get on the bird? Took a lot of damage, man. Holy crap, dude. Let's save this. And that. I don't really care about the prime meat and stuff. Let's just jump on the moth. Be a little bit faster than going on the saber tooth. Let you heal up some too, buddy. <laughs> Kind of got beat up some. Those death worms are no joke, dude. And there we go. There we go. Nothing like being on wings, man. It's kind of what I did out here was use the moth. That way we don't get aggro from everything. And I can't believe the mantis are so, so rare now. These would be the perfect place to get all your polymer from. I mean, now you get a bunch from the drops anyways. Which, speaking of that, there's two yellow ones over my base. And a blue one, too. Stopping to get some stamina. The mantis should be up here. Let's do some testing. Some people are asking in my comments if we can get the raw salt from the bones. I think sometimes you get keratin from them. Sometimes you get the salts. Let's double check and see. Might get a little bit of each. We all right? Make sure, man. No problems. Oh, you can. Interesting. So if you see any of these out in the wild, you can get the salts from them too. Nice, man. Nice. I think it's over on Ragnarok. I think you get the keratin from them instead. Could be wrong. It does happen. So we should have the Mantis close by here. A little bit further north. There was a two sets. There was a... Yep, those right there, I think. So we got a 120. I thought it was a 140. It's a 120. Okay, that's what it is. It's a 120 and a 40. We need to kill off that guy and everything around. So the problem with these guys is if they get aggro, you, you totally mess up your taming and stuff, right? So we need to kill all this stuff off. Let's get back on the cats. So we want everything out of the area. I should have brought the long neck to pick stuff up or pick stuff off from range, especially that other one that's there. Kind of sucks having two there. We could always just kill off the one and then leave range, right? Leave render range and come back. We might do that. Let's get this out. I don't want to damage our dailies from that guy. Get rid of you as well. The main thing that causes problems is one, the other mantis, but the... The vultures, man. If you have those guys around, ah, uh, dude, it's such a pain. I have to go back and make a saddle. I haven't got one of the mantis ones yet. I don't think in a drop. Not sure how far the range will go from the shotgun. They're both aggroed on. See, I see the bird, man. The birds are no joke, dude. They always cause problems when you're trying to tame those things. What was that? Like the water sound effect. That was kind of weird. Junior, can you come down out of the sky, please? Yep, I asked you. Nicely. I got rid of those. I need to kill off that one that is... the lower level. This one. While he's busy. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Kill off the bird. Oh, man, he got the uh, the polymer before I got a chance to. Okay, that one's dead. Wait. Get out of range. Get out of range. Please, get out of range. I'm going to crash you. I had a little bit of a lag spike. He's coming for us. He's not jumping, though. I don't want to lead him too far away because we kind of cleaned out this area. 
We'll get up here and we'll eat our soups and stuff to keep them away from us. Let's go and just eat those now. I don't know if these stack. They do, okay. Two at once. So he already lost aggro on us, which is good. Get rid of this guy. There's no rain here. What is going on? Rain in one little spot. <laughs> Super weird. Alright, so. Now that we got all of our gear on. He's kind of somewhat over by himself now. Get rid of this. We're going to put the cat way over here. Oh, it is raining. Never mind. I just couldn't see the, uh, the effect. Let's put these down here. We'll put you right there. Now we gotta do some sneaky, sneaky stuff. I don't think he's still got aggro on us. He is walking this way. We need to get behind him. Sneak up. Slip one of the deathworm horns in his back pocket. And make sure he doesn't see us. We gotta do two feedings on this guy. And then we should have one tame. Kinda ugly colors, man. <laughs> it's like white with a different color body. I mean, it kinda works though, is what it is. So I'm hoping with the... Soup and the bug spray. We should be okay. I don't know what the range is for them to see you. But the sneaking up part is the hardest, man. Alright, there we go. Close enough, close enough. Stay there, buddy. Stay there. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Actually, not too bad colors. The wings are blue. The body is ugly. No, oh, there we go. Oh, wait. It was just one. Oh, fantastic, man. That's even better. So, <laughs> Junior. How you doing, buddy? Take a look at your colors real quick. Those blue wings are fantastic, man. So, hopefully the, uh, the bug is gone with the whooshing sound. If so, we'll try to get some more of these guys tamed up. They're fantastic for doing harvesting. You can put stuff in each one of their claws. Very good for knocking out creatures with some clubs as well. Get some ascendant ones and use that instead of using trank darts and stuff, right? So, let's go back to base. We'll get a saddle. Do some testing. See how he is. Make up some tools for him, too. If you get a pair of... Centipede over by the cat. If you get a pair of the swords and stuff, give them to him as well. Ah, uh, dude, that's a terrifying thing, man. Very, very good creature for harvesting. Very useful over on Extinction, too, for doing the element nodes. Thought for sure I was going to take two of those, but... Hey, man, only one definitely works. Okay, we don't have any ammo. I just want your cotton, buddy. Use it for our cement paste. Might as well harvest some while we're out here. What'd you drop? Absolutely nothing. The regular snake. Alright, man. I will see you. How far are we from base? Good little ways. Can we get on the bird? Get up here out of the way from the snake. I think the bird has decent... Or the moth has decent carry weights. We don't need that for anything. There are none of the apex drops for the bosses. Kind of nice, man. I like having something specific. And it's just a dragon talons. There we go. Good little bit of weight. Alright, I'm gonna stop by, grab this yellow drop. Never mind, it disappeared. <laughs> it's the way that it goes. So I'll just see over a base. There's another one there. Oh, that's the other ones that I saw. Oh, that's different. It's a level 40 and a level 15. Dude, I really want the polymer, man. It's gonna suck to get back on the cat, but... We're gonna do it. I think we'll be too heavy for the moth, so we'll just run back on the cats. I want to get this extra polymer, though. Now, if you bring the chainsaw out, you get a ton more of the chitin and polymer and stuff. So if you're going hunting for it, it's definitely worth it to bring that with you. Especially if you get a good one from one of the drops. It's not too bad. 128 more on that. That's probably what we spent on... on getting our, uh... gilly made, you know? Oh, it's one of the new creatures. Look, man, there's all kinds of stuff out here. So, if you haven't seen them, it's a level 20. I'm not sure how dangerous they are. I was on the moth whenever I saw them off camera doing my scouting for the mantis. They're kind of a good size, right? I haven't read anything about them. I have no idea what they do. I know they're a sand lizard where they go down in the ground. But they're good size, man. They're not huge. Oh, wait, he's got a... he's flinging poo. Wait, what is that? Armor reducing acid. Okay, well that's a thing. Every time he bites you, that is nuts, dude. You took my kill. 
That is so rude. Hate those things, man. Cannot stand <laughs> the vultures. So how long does that acid stay on us? What would they drop too? Ah, oh, that sucks, man. That the the bird got it. I'm gonna stay out here in the desert. It's slowly going down to 22 percent, minus 22 percent. There was another debuff that we had. I didn't see what it was. I don't see any more of them either. Hmm. We'll see. If we find another one between here and base, we'll kill it off too, or attempt to, <laughs> and see what it uh what it drops, man. Hopefully there's some different parts besides a normal hide. Is that debuff on us? Oh, it's on them. Nothing on us. Just on the cats. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of a terrifying thing. Holy crap, dude. We should try to tame one of those here soon. I have to see what the taming mechanics are and stuff. Didn't see any more of the lizards. They're kind of rare over here. I saw a bunch on the other side of the map over there, where I first started going on the desert looking for the mantis. Ton of them over there, man. So what we'll do is go ahead and make up quite a few things for the mantis to test out for tools. We'll grab some picks. We'll grab some hatchets. We'll grab the clubs and probably the swords. And there's usually quite a few of the wrecks over there. I don't want to tame one, but we'll go over there and smack him around with the clubs. See how we <laughs> see how we do. Hopefully not lose a mantis in the process. Junior, we're back. You all right? You doing good? You getting a bath? You still got an attitude problem? Tell you what, let's put you in here. I'll be nice and get you out of the rain. No, I won't. You got a bunch of eggs in there still. Nice, pick you up. I need to put the eggs in the refrigerator. Still, I've not done the breeding on... Or not the breeding, but the hatching on the UDs. We might do that today. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and open you. We'll drop off all of that. 605, that is not too bad. We'll drop off that. And these as well. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and do the... Oh, we gotta wait five minutes. Never mind. Alright, buddy. Give me some eggs. It's a moth. What level are you? We are in the market. Not that. It's a 40. It's a female. Is ours a female as well? Ours is a male. We could tame that guy. The colors are not too bad, man. The feet and... I like the wings on ours. But the body itself is all one color. I kind of like the wings on him, though. It's like an orangish color. Maybe peach. Hmm. We could do that today. We'll see, man. We'll see. Let's drop the eggs off real quick. Leave the meat in there as well. And let's drop off these. We shouldn't need those anymore. Well, we are going back out. So might as well keep some. We'll drop off our other deathworm horn too. We'll put our normal gear back on. That's awesome about the black pearls though, man. And the salts. Alright, let's get these out. There's our set of ghillie. We will be using that again. Because if we like the mantis, and it is fixed where it's not all bugged anymore, I definitely want to get some for breeding, you know? Kind of nice having a regular rainstorm instead of the sandstorm and stuff. Alright, put you in here, buddy. I know, I know, the rain's finally gone. And now I put you into a cryopod all soaking wet. It's fine, though, it's fine. Right, we're taking the cat with us, for sure. Pick some of those, just in case. You never know what you're going to find out there, man. Alright, like I said, we might hatch those up later. We'll have to wait and see. Let's grab... What do we have in here? For gear. Absolutely nothing. Let's just use some basic stuff. We'll do some testing with all primitive. We're going to be needing a little bit of metal. And we'll see what else. So we'll do two picks. Do two of the hatchets. I don't have the sword unlocked. We do now. And then I don't think I have the clubs unlocked either. Oh, I do. It has made an R inventory, right? 
Wait, do we need two? Or is it one? We might just need one. I can't remember, man. I don't use them very often. Let's take this just in case. Should have had it with us before. And then... What do we need for the club? Fiber and wood. Nobody. A little bit of you. We'll make two just in case. If anything, when we're done, we're going to throw this into the grinder anyways, and it'll be fine. I need one more. Alright, so there's all that. Oh, we need a saddle, too. Kind of a key component. Mantis. Normally on this map, you get a ton of those things. Haven't seen hardly any. Is that made in our inventory or the smithy? Smithy. One of you, please. Only a 25 armor, but that should be fine. We got the shotgun in case anything goes wrong. Speaking of that... Let's reload you. You know, I lugged out so much getting this in that drop with the dairy saddle on the island. There we go. Yeah, we've got a very good saddle for that guy, though. We'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe in the next video or two, we'll go ahead and do that. I am going to be setting up some towers, though, for the plant species. What I decided was just to have it away from base. They got a long range, maybe like up here, so I don't have to hear it all the time. I'll put up a small little tower. With the plant species on top. I'll do the same thing over there. And then we should be good. Just two of them should be fine. Maybe I'll do one on top over there. However far we have the range for the the water is the main thing. Might put out a separate tank over here. Just kind of on the side right here. Kind of hidden. And that way we can kind of water it. And then we have the plant species to keep stuff away from base. And I don't have to hear it shooting all the time, you know. It gets kind of loud, dude. So let's throw you out. Take a look at some stats. See where we're at in life. I think here will be fine. So this guy is a female. Tamed out to be level 179. We got 1705 on the health. Stamina is 660. Weight is 382. And damage is 224%. So, saddle. Hands. It's only one. Okay, so we don't need two of each. Let's start off with this. <laughs> it's a terrifying thing, dude. Now, they move pretty quick. They've got the jump. Right? You jump? Oh, there we go. They jump and attack at the same time. So you can kind of see how our... Our thatch is and stuff there, right? It's not bad. Dude is like a beast for that kind of stuff, man. So the main thing we'll be doing for points, if they're not bugged, is going to be weights and damage. Stamina is okay usually, and then health is usually okay, depending on what you're using it for. So let's go ahead and do some weights. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff. I can definitely use the thatch, and then we'll see about using this. I mean, it's not a theory, but that is still very, very good for harvesting. And then, this <laughs> the swords, dude. Let's find something to smack around a little bit. Where's a raptor when you need one? There we go. Junior! Need you for testing, buddy. Oh, there's two of you. Even better! So that was a headshot of 667, 222 normal. That is awesome, dude. And you only have the durability to worry about with one, right? So it's not too bad. It's kind of cool. Let's do damage. Goes up a little bit. 5% on each one. And what I want to do is come up here, and I was thinking about finding a Rex to smack around with the clubs just for testing. But I don't want to spend all day doing it. So whatever we find up here that's a decent-sized creature, we'll give them the clubs and let them try to knock it out. Now, like I said, if you get the... Ascendant ones, or some upgraded ones? Ah, uh, dude, it's even better, man. The more damage, the better for sure. And I don't think these guys take fall damage. There's an Anki. We can smack him around. What level are you? Level 10. Cool colors. A purple and... Orange. Level 10. Level 20. Why is everything such a low level, man? I did a Dino Wipe, too. Before I went out to the desert to do the exploring for the mantis. So we should have some pretty decent creatures, I think, on the map. Now, how do we do with the cactus, too? That's one thing we're having a problem doing a lot of harvesting on. Oh, and these two, the Joshua trees for the sap. Absolutely nothing. 29. 66. That's not too bad.
better than doing it by hand, but it's not a chainsaw, right? I don't think you can give him a chainsaw. I mean, <laughs> what kind of try it? That would be a terrifying thing. Giving a mantis some chainsaws. If I can remember, we'll try that back at base. Let's give you the clubs. Now, obviously, whenever you change stuff out, it goes to his inventory, which is kind of cool. We always have them for later. But give me a minute, man. Let me find something big over here. And well, <laughs> try to smack it around a little bit and not die. Kind of a key component there, you know? We got some thylas. It's a level five, of course. Level 85. That'll work. Just one, though, please. Not both of you. I was going for that blue drop that's over there. Let's go down here, though. Where'd he go? He was playing with the snakes. Let's let's kill the snakes off. Give this guy a sword. I don't want to kill off the Thyla though. Yep, 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 yep. Look, look. Don't be rude. I keep going to my inventory instead of the bugs. Now the thing with the clubs, they're primitive, so they break super, super fast. Might be a problem. Is that the level five or the level eighty-five? 85. Nice. Alright. Smack him around. Smack him around. Taking a good bit of damage from the clubs for the Thyla, and we're taking a good bit from the cats. Watch your health and stamina, and we'll bail out if we have to. Unconscious. Both of them. Oh, that is fantastic! Now, the thing is... Did I hit him too much? Alright? There was another Thyla around here. Let's give you... That, just in case. Passive. Did we mess up the tame? We didn't! Ah, that is fantastic! Now, we're not gonna tame this guy. We could! It's a level 85. Didn't plan on it. The Torpor drops super fast on these guys. Kinda see it going down there. I don't have any kibble. So it's only an 85, we'll let it go ahead and wait back up, and it'll be fine. I do want to tame some, but I want them to be high level, you know? Tell you what, let's just do this. That way, I'm not wanting to come back and... Get them teamed up. Kind of cool though, man. Ah, this guy's a beast. Let's go over here and get our loot drop. We'll go back to base and we'll go ahead and. That's the other one. Who cool colors on that guy? I am not a fan of red, but look at that, man. Black and dark red. Looks fantastic. We'll get our plant species set up to keep the morella tops and the hyenas and stuff away. Be cool if we found a good saddle over here. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to do the jumping a lot because that's what triggers the bug with the whooshing sound. Crossbow, don't care. I mean, kind of hot here for that. We need that for the train, though. It'll save us from building that. We don't need the seeds. We'll drop that too. That kind of works. We got some oil. Now, something I haven't found yet, we might build one of here pretty soon if we don't find one, is the pump jacks. There's a lot of nodes around here I found. Quite a few by base, actually just above base. There's two of the pump jack nodes. And I definitely want to get some of those out so we can start getting our... What is going on over here? Oh, was a cat chasing... It's actually one of the nodes right there. I want to get our oil going for all of our jerky and stuff. Level 10, we'll kill them off. Might as well. Yep, there we go, there we go. A little bit of hide, we can always use it. Dude, this thing is a beast, man. I really hope they got it fixed because they're, they're like I keep saying, man. They're awesome creatures for doing harvesting and stuff. Nice metal node there. Need to bring the Anki out here with the Argentavis. Do some more harvesting on some metal. And the main thing we're needing to check out the trains is a bunch of, I think it's like obsidian and cement paste. Hyena pack. You guys really want to come this way? Yep, you all are stopping, huh? I do not blame you. A mantis... Equipped with swords is a terrifying thing. <laughs> it's like they all turn around, thinking I was food, and they're like, nope, we are not going that way. That does a lot of damage, too, whenever you do the jump attack. Tell you what, while we're here, let's grab some of this salt. I hear something. I'll pick you to death. <laughs> it works, dude, it works! Just grab some salt from here. Get the inventory pretty full. 
There we go, man. There we go. We got a little bit of the sulfur still back at base. So that allows us to make up some more of our stuff. There's another cat there. Oh, it's a saber. Really want to get a good pair of thylas, man. Fantastic creatures. I like running around on them. Makes it very nice getting up the sides of mountains and stuff, especially for exploring. I mean, it's got to see a lot of the land around here is pretty, uh, pretty rocky, right? Kind of the way that it goes. But having a thyla will be nice. I want to do some exploring over to the Red Obelisk. Might do that here in the next video. I want to see if the cave is still over there that has all the obsidian and the sulfur crystal metal. If so, that will be a good place to go to get a lot of our resources that I'm needing here at base. A lot of stuff that we need for the train, too, will be over there. Should be able to get enough of the sulfur to not have to worry about it again for a long time for our salts. And having that salt note up there. Ah, dude, didn't realize there was one so close. Save us from having to go out to the desert. Let me give you back your sword real quick. Dropped a stone, too. There we go. Help out with weights. Come down here, buddy. Try to do the jump attack and see what kind of damage it does. 439 versus around 2-something. Another point. Let's do that into damage. Now, if we do the breeding, I definitely want to get the weight up maybe 1,500 or so. You don't get any of the weight reductions, I don't believe. But if you have your bird with you, man, in tow, you can easily empty everything out into him. And then doing stuff like normal harvesting around base here will be, oh, it'll be fantastic, dude. Ah, oh, it'll be so nice. I'm not hearing the whooshing sound, so hopefully it's fixed. Let's leave you out here. Let's, um, make sure you're on passive. <laughs> That's kind of a key thing. I want him jumping around base with that, uh, those weapons in his hand. All right, that's good for now. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. Get some things made up, and we'll do a little bit of building for the plant species. Let's leave you, and you, and you. I really like the inside of the base setup. Oh, it is so nice, man. Let's take this and put it in the preserving bin, actually. Do the building for those, and then we'll grind these other tools. And how is our... that's good. Do that. I think we're kind of set. Put this in here. So, as for the stuff we're building today, we got some of these. We only need, I think, three. Gonna need some ceilings. We'll make up three of the ceilings. We don't have any of the large crop plots. We need three of those as well. So give me that, some of this, some of this. I think we need fiber too, right? We do. Three of these. The main thing that's going to suck is, oh, I don't have any of the... I got stone. Let's see, we're missing stone for the crop plots. Those things are, are so intensive on stone, man. It's nuts. All right, let's take just three of these. And then let's make a couple of the... Tanks is two. We have cement paste. Probably just need one more of the tanks. Take half of that. So let's leave you and all of you. I think one might be fine. Just to extend it up a little bit towards the cliff. I think we're good. Grab some fertilizer. How you doing, Junior? Got some oil for me, I see. And that'll be good. It's kind of weird, man. I've talked about it before. On single player, whenever your plant species, like, fires, right? It uses up some of your fertilizer. But on servers, it doesn't. Super weird, man. Super, super weird. Alright, so for the first one... Oh, I want to tame that guy, too. Ah, should we do it? Passive. I want to do it before we get the plant species out. Only reason I want to tame that one is it's a female. Right? Wrong button. And the colors are pretty decent on it. Oh, it's orange on the body. Oh, I don't like that. Wait, the whole thing changed. That's not the same one. That's a different one. It's fine. We're not taming it. I think right here will be good for... a tower. We need a ladder, too. Right, to be able to get up to it. Put our fertilizer in it. Let's make a couple real quick. That's not the one that I thought it was. 
Maybe we'll do that in the next video, get the moth second one tamed up, and do some breeding. I don't think I've ever done breeding on those guys. What do we need for the rope ladders? A little bit of fiber. A little bit of wood. We'll do three. We'll do six. Depending on how tall it gets. For some of those, might need two of them to get up to it. But yeah, we'll try that. Now we've got the ACs in the floors here. That might be enough for hatching the eggs. I think they must lay eggs, right? Should be. And we can kind of do all of our breeding in here for those. For bigger creatures, we could probably hatch them in here. Put them into a cryo, then throw them outside. Just until we get the barn made. I think we're going to 100% do a barn just to store our dinos in. Now we got everybody safe, you know. I kind of like how we have it set up on the island. And we might just do it on the back side here. Because it's kind of flat for the most part. And should be able to get something set up there, you know. Don't climb all the way up. Alright, so we got that. Let's see about the... Range for our water real quick. So we got the one here. If I put the barrel over here, we should be fine. That's just inside of it. That'll work there. Let's turn this one off. Go somewhere. Is irrigated. It is fertilized. You got one of those. Nice, man. Nice! We'll put it on high range. Wild dinos only. And don't forget, I got my multiplier up so that they do quite a bit of damage for one. Again, the whole thing about having a billion of those out, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Kind of like the same thing with having our stack size increased on our uh, resources, you know? Now this one should feed off of that. Technically, it should. Let's see where we're at in life. So we got this here. So I'm thinking maybe right here should be fine. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring enough of the pillars. I was thinking one for each one. We need two for each one. And we might do one up top. We might not need it, man. If those can actually cross and hit the stuff in the middle here for raptors, we might be good, I think. Still might put one up on the mountain there. Have to wait and see. That should be enough. If we put it up on top there, we'll probably have to put up another one of the water tanks, unless that one will overlap where we put it. Now where's our where's our one pillar at? You guys left me a comment too and said that you can get the trees to put them into the clay pots. Apparently it's very, very hard to hit it in the right spot to have it happen. So that's kind of cool, man. Might do some testing on that here soon too, just to add different stuff into the base. Alright, so we're good here. Put that out. Give it a second, see if there's going to be some water. Sandstorm. Oh, our goggles did come down. Oh, that's fantastic, man. There's our fertilizer. It's not seeing water, so that tank does not actually provide water to stuff. Interesting. I don't know the point unless you can have that out instead of having one of the taps, you know? That might be what that's for. Hey, act like a tap when you're, like, out in the field. So, I mean, it's all good. You can see a lot further with the goggles, though. Than if you don't. See how it's all kind of hard to see? See a little bit further? Well, it's not too bad. You, <laughs> you still can't run. We need to make one more of the water tanks. And then, I'm not sure where we'll put it to where to overlap that. But to see. Might need to make two of them. Alright, so what we should be able to do... Actually, you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner... We got a buff from the water that I drank. Ice water. We're cooling down. Kind of cool. But what should work, it seems that we're at a range of the tap. This should still work right here. From that big tank, right? Not irrigated. 
Let's turn on the range for this guy. That should be in range. If it doesn't work, I'm going to get rid of this thing altogether because I don't understand the point in it. Nothing is working with this tank. Is that moth that I punched? <laughs> He's still floating around. I think that might actually be just outside the range. I don't know, man. It's super weird, dude. Super weird. I thought it was going to be just a bigger version of the normal water tank. Yeah, we're inside of it. So what's the point, dude? Oh, wait. Now it's irrigated. Okay, so it might have just taken a second. So it is. It's like a big water tap. Interesting. So this should be irrigated. It's kind of weird, though. The water taps will irrigate this stuff, you know? There's that. Oh, we should get the shovel. Wait, I don't want the fertilizer. I want this. We should grab the, the shovel so that it grows a lot faster, you know? So the ranger on this guy. Let's turn this one on. Let's get out the bird. Moth, bird, wings. Same thing, man. All the same thing. Let's go up top here. Doesn't reach. Again, the main thing I'm worried about is the raptors falling down from up here. Now, if I put the plant species up here, I would probably need quite a few. Well, not really. Just one right here will work. Because if anything falls off over there, it's going to get in the range of that one. I think we might be fine, man, with just the uh, two down here. It's on long range. That should kind of cross with this one and that one. Let's leave it like it is. Let's turn all these off. We'll grab our shovel. Do our tilling. And call it good on all this. It's going to be a while for those things to get all fully raised up anyways. You alright, buddy? Kind of shaking there, just saying. A little bit weird. Is that the one we're taming? It's not. There's... <laughs> a lot of moths around here. Turn off you. There we go, man. There we go. Alright, let's grab the shovel real quick before we go. And get these two things sorted out. If we could just have the two, uh, I'll be super happy, dude. Alright. There we go. 30% on the growth bonus. Go do the other one. And hopefully we don't have to worry about the Draboas around here anymore. The Moss, the Morella Tops, or the Raptors. Or the Hyenas. Or anything, <laughs> anything else that we don't want. There we go, man. There we go. Take a couple days for it to grow up, but we should be able to have them fully grown by the next video. And we'll kind of do some testing. Maybe we'll drag some stuff off of the cliff up there and see how it is. I'll try to get some of the oil tanks made up too, the pump jacks. And in the next video, we'll try to set some of those out. I don't know. We'll have to see, man. Kind of want to do some exploring as well. We haven't done too much on this map for exploring. Really want to go over to the Red Obelisk and check out that cave. See if it's still there. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. We got us a mantis. So far, they don't seem bugged with the whooshing sound. So kind of excited about that. We'll go ahead and get another one tamed up here eventually whenever I can find one. We'll do some breeding with it. We need to do some breeding with our moth. Start grabbing some dragon eggs. Do the taming on the new desert lizards that we saw out there. You could no joke with that debuff that they have with the acid. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.